In this section, I'm going to talk about how to use some of the new features of 3.1.7c release. So uh, let's uh, start by selecting everything and deleting them. I'll start by adding a mesh grid. Let's scale it up. And we're going to use this as reference for graph. Expose the selectability options and let's make it unselectable and uh, so let's uh, start by pressing Sorry. turn these off smart join and uh, we're going to start on a blank object so turn on union and click add blank object let's give it a name let's call it bomb for blank object press ok ok now there's a new feature if you expand it this under preferences you can actually change the orthographic camera to regular perspective this might help you see the depth better and the next thing we're going to do is uh, we'll turn on 3d cursor stroke placement option and what this will help us do is shift right click anywhere on the screen at where the stroke should be so let's give it a run. Uh, angle the camera. We are still doing this, by the way, uh, looking through the cam carve, uh, the carving cam. So that way our uh, objects will be oriented facing the camera at all times. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, let's draw the center. Uh, press K. We can exit occasionally to take a look adjust the depth of your objects so actually I'm uh, reducing it uh, yeah. let's say this is something like that we want it and on the strike elsewhere it's okay and uh, I'll, I'll just stay in perspective here actually I can see some of the Okay, click here, let's do another 3 d looking thing. And uh, as usual, you can also adjust the rotations by clicking on main transforms. Since we are using the 3D cursor location, let's change the medium point to cursor. Because cursor happens to be exactly where we want to do these rotations and these x y z coordinates are actually relative to the canvas x is always sideways y is depth and z is up and down relative to the canvas so keep that in mind so when i of course i don't want to do that i want to rotate the since it seems to be leaning backwards i want to rotate it around x and press k to set it Let's click out there while inside the camera view, of course. And let's throw another, let's say, let's call this a rock. Increase the extrusion, maybe. This is just a proof of concept. I just wanted to illustrate what you can do quickly, quick and dirty. Blocking of a scene, let's say. Another good idea might be to actually use an undestructive mode with this. It'll give you a bit more flexibility. Um, let's draw something like this. It's okay. Uh, it's leaning quite a bit, but we'll fix that in a second. Increase the extrusion to give it some depth. And press Alt V to switch to object mode. And 
in this new version you'll see that this last object you created is actually selected and you can actually use the object uh, transforms here um, let's change this not that let's change the pivot point to 3d cursor again since our 3d cursor is just exactly pretty much where we wanted it press R Do another one, press K. Okay. Out we maybe rotate it this way. We need to, looks like we need to keep resetting this, but doesn't matter. We get the point. So and then once you're satisfied with these. You can also separate these to their individual components. Um, this will work fine as, uh, as, a, as long as you don't move the main object. As you probably noticed, uh, Sketch and Carve needs to have the main object at the center of the world, at the 000, zero coordinates. So if you translate anything elsewhere, it will be snapped right back to the center next time you press K. So remember that. So since we were using non-destructive mode, let's select this, press K again, come down here to the bottom of the menu and apply SCAR modifiers, accept the options and press OK. Now all the changes we made are applied. Now this is still a single object. And let's say what if we wanted these separate? That's easy, just press K again at the bottom the very bottom of the menu we have the separate and simulate click that and leave the rigid body simulation off and simply press ok now you see all the objects are separated you can actually select them individually and move them um, now Keep, that, keep in mind, uh, if you try to rotate them, although we have the <laughs> 3D cursor option on, but if it was left on median point, these objects, all of them have their centers at the still the zero, 00 coordinates. This is for kind of a safety. Let's say that you regret it having split these and you just want to put them back, unite them back together in the, the way exactly the way they were you can set all their uh, transforms to zero zero location and just join them again but uh, you might also choose to put the object centers in their uh, geometric centers there are ways to do that in blender so uh, i'm sure you know how to do that at this point you can easily do that too so here's a one way to block a scene I hope you enjoyed this uh, and thank you for watching. See you next time.